Hi friends, here is one of the 12 power supply I have. Uh, this power supply is defective and we are going to repair it. We will attempt repairing on this power supply. Uh, this is a power supply which is uh, converting AC 220 volt, I mean the mains, which is 100 to 240 volts uh, to 19 volts, 19.5 volt and uh, some 4.62 ampere. 4.62 ampere, which is for the Dell laptops. This is the Dell power supply for the Dell laptop. And this is the input side. And here is the output side. Uh, this cable is going to the Dell laptop. But at the moment, as you can see, there is no mail jack. Instead, two wires are coming out of uh, this power supply, which is uh, white and red, of course. Uh, so this power supply had been sent to us by some of one of my friend, and he said that I have to dismantle this power supply and show the repair or uh, otherwise the dismantling. So here we are tapping. Uh, as I already put some uh, solvent like gasoline, and I tapped it already and opened it. So by tapping, you can open it and uh, this technique i showed in some other videos also so inside you can see this is power supply is coming uh, this is a standard power supply and here is some part which uh, has been fallen from this power supply you can see this part and uh, this part is showing some 38 number is written ka38 or uc38 uh, which is you know uc3842 uc3843 they are the standard ic's uh, used for these power supplies these uh, Chinese power supplies, they are using uh, almost all power supplies, they are using, I mean to say, most commonly used IC, uh, which is this one, and it had been broken uh, from the inside, just I'm showing you uh, from where it had been broken, so this is the place, the IC, uh, from where the top had been broken and it is exploded, uh, and the whole thing had been exploded, I mean, too many resistances and components the rest of the components had been broken also uh, here is the FET the cause for the breakage is this FET while uh, this is switching I mean this transformer is switched by this FET the field MOSFET uh, so this MOSFET is going defective as you can see the MOSFET part has been come also in chunks uh, this MOSFET has been broken also it is normally emitting fire so some people are saying fire emitting transistor FET or field effect transistor actually it is uh, so parts are blown inside and these parts are normally going short circuited uh, so uh, while we are re repairing attempting a repair on such power supply it's a must that one should check each and everything each and every semiconductor and capacitors and resistances each and everything should be checked and replaced uh, here is an add-on module which we will add these are the two modules you can see and uh, this is str type module the str is they are six pins str which is an ic and power uh, mosfet is included in that ic uh, these are the five wires which are coming out of uh, this module you can see different colors wires had been implemented to these modules these are two so we are breaking in the middle so we are making it two so one of the module we will use in our project uh, this module will go in our power supply the very easy and whatever the cheap way and an effective way to repair such power supplies so such small power supplies today is to add this module this add, this add additional module will add up and it will take the place of ic the switching ic as well as the mosfet and the connections interconnections we will make to the power supply and this module is made in the way that it is a flexible and it will be fixed almost everywhere i mean all power supplies they can accept almost all power supplies not all but many of the power supplies which are using the same concept uh, they can accept this uh, module they have made different modules one you can see in my hand and other are there uh, which could be fixed some have two transistors some have single transistor and this one is single transistor flyback type power supply so that's why we are using this module this is the smallest module available in the market so this way we will be able to repair this uh, switching power supply is such a switching power supply if it's defective with you uh, you people will be able to repair with the help of this add-on module uh, and also the output which which was fixed before i mean to say 19.5 volt or 20 volt it will come while we will rep will, will repair uh, using this 
uh, module or if it is a multi voltage power supply like in many circuits you can see multi voltage power supplies so for that those also it would work now i am cleaning all the stage and then we'll show you so here you can see lot lot of uh, blown components I replay re removed from the circuit board this is the MOSFET here is uh, this IC chunks you know and here is the capacitor which replaced this is the bootstrap capacitor this was also short circuited and we replaced uh, with a good good one and uh, IC we removed and the other component MOSFET we removed this one is uh, you know uh, the optocoupler the optocoupler has also been broken so downside you can see this has been broken uh, chunk had been removed from and inside it is it was short circuited something happened with this and this come came out of the power supply in two pieces uh, so in such way it came and uh, we re replaced it i replaced it and i fixed a new uh, mosfet from another board a good mosfet from another board i fixed it over here and you can see over here this mosfet uh, this uh, optocoupler is if i said mosfet so sorry this optocoupler uh opto isolator so this is the ic which is tl431 which is a reference programmable zener three pin ic like a transistor it is located over here uh, this is giving reference to the opto isolator and uh, this one also uh, maybe it would be blown so i replaced it because while the uh, mosfet or uh, sorry not mosfet but uh, other thing meant so it also blown this this is the output stage uh, bridge rect uh, the two, rec two diode rectifier not bridge but two diode rectifier over here like a transistor three legs transistor three legs diode this is also i fixed another one which is metal tab type i had available the original one was plastic this was short circuited and i replaced with this one but i insulated uh, with the help of insulator and insulating uh, washer uh, so here you know some other components like resistances and diode uh, they had also been blown but the diode we just removed the one leg and the resistances are there these components we brought out of the power supply so if same situation happened with some new guy and uh, he or she will experience many components like here as in this situation you can see they are blown so this situation is very difficult to handle for uh, new new wise uh, new people they are expecting that maybe a fuse will be blown or uh, in many cases a transistor and ic will be blown and we will replace that and the power supply will come to life and that is normally the case is but not all the times as in this case you, you saw many many components had been blown and uh, in such power supply if you are making a repair attempt it will be a challenge for new buys uh, so for this uh, uh, power supply repair we adapted this module we will use this add-on this is uh, cx triple eight cx triple eight module or ca triple eight module maybe so this is mosfet type module uh, mosfet is there inside in this str this is ic str and there is a mosfet inside and some associated components they have uh, put it on on this board and made a complete power supply solution this black wire will go to the capacitor the 383 400 volt capacitor which is containing uh, 300 volt in our case and this green will be positive for that capacitor i mean 300 volt will be applied between green and uh, green will be positive and uh, black will be negative so these 300 volts will be applied over here and uh, the rest of the three wires i'm explaining this red wire will go to the bootstrap capacitor positive or diode cathode which is in every power supply this small capacitor is there which is known as boot strip which is giving uh, voltage the vcc to the ic to work and here this yellow wire this will go to the drain of the mosfet this mosfet center pin is drain or in case of transistor it could be collector in the center pin this will be collector or maybe in the side also it could be collector so collector pin or drain pin it will go and the white wire which is remaining this white wire will go to the reference which is the fourth pin of the uh, opto isolator or opto coupler fourth pin we will connect the secondary side we will connect to give feedback to this small circuit uh, so here on the ic pins as this this uh, fourth pin is coming to the ic so on the ic pin we will connect we will make all the interconnections uh, on the ic pins because holes are available over there already so we will not make any new hole but instead we will reuse the older holes which are there on the pcb uh, so that will be an easy repair uh, here we are going to uh, 
put this black wire to the negative side of the capacitor this central negative uh, primary side hot side negative is here so we will put on here this black wire we will introduce and uh, we will solder it uh, so this way you can check from the capacitor also and also you can see uh, where the negative is this is easy this is not very difficult for any person who is dealing with electronics uh, it's easy work it's not that difficult so here we are soldering it uh, using our soldering iron and uh, with the help of uh, soldering wire uh, we are soldering this black wire to the negative trace we soldered it and now is the time for another wire which is you know this green wire also we will solder on the capacitor positive but later on we will solder and at the moment we are soldering yellow wire to the drain of the MOSFET so here is a drain the central pin uh, which is coming from the transformer of course the switching transformer we will solder it over here uh, I'm soldering it and then we'll show you the rest of the process so as you can see we soldered it and uh, then is the time for another wire uh, which is you know uh, this white wire which, which will go to the IC pin uh, the reference pin I mean the feedback pin it will go so here we are checking this fourth pin uh, I will show you here this fourth pin is going to the IC pin this point IC pin this this is coming from the uh, fourth pin of the opto isolator so here we will solder you can solder anywhere or even on the top of the PCB but that's not the proper technique so the proper technique is to solder it on the IC pins because hole is already available I'm repeating this point once again uh, for the new guys uh, so this way we will twist it and then we will solder it perfectly so after soldering uh, we are remaining with this red wire this red wire is for the bootstrap capacitor as I explained before also I am explaining again and again because for the new people this is a little bit difficult concept how wiring will go but it is not difficult once you will do it it will be very very much easy but the main thing is you should have to remove all the broken components uh, which are there on the PCB which are blown or which are short circuited uh, after soldering this red wire as our final wire is green so this green wire we are going to connect on the capacitor positive on the capacitor side we are connecting it and uh, this whole module has been connected uh, now we will confirm our work uh, as if we made any mistake we, we can correct it now before uh, powering this up and we should clean uh, these legs for the MOSFET because here in uh, the residue should not be there and now is the time to test this thing so with a meter uh, on the voltage range DC voltage range red we will connect to the red probe and the white wire of the power supply we will connect to the black probe negative uh, so here it will give us reading uh, is if 19.5 uh, volt or 20 volt will come so this power supply will be repaired with this new add-on module and still we did not put it on the heat sinks later on we will uh, here is a series lamp first we will connect this power supply in series lamp and then later on we will connect it naturally uh, here is uh, of course one LED also that will come if the power supply uh, will be perfect I mean it will give perfect voltages then uh, the LED should also come here a blue LED you will be able to see uh, that will glow and that will show uh, this LED will show the status of the power supply so now I'm going to connect it in the 220 volts let us see how it is behaving so I connect it and the blue LED you can see the blue LED had been come which is showing that the power supply is switched on and 20 volts 20.04 volt you can see 20 volts over here and this way we repaired this power supply with this new add-on module this is str new module we introduced and the rest of the components we did not connect which were the original so we, rep we replaced it and we modified this power supply to the FET module this is 85 volts 85 watts so 85 watts is more than enough power to drive any computer power supply and it will work in this power supply so this way we repaired it easily and with the help of uh, this add-on modules uh, we did it so this is the heat sink plate which is for the if MOSFET before and we will connect this F, uh, STR to this hole and uh, through uh, using this uh, one uh, small 
nut bolt we will fix that and later on we will fix the power supply in the covers so if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications thank you for watching stay tuned